guys. Um, so the topic for the video today is societal scripts and assumptions. So uh, I'll explain it a little bit. Basically what we're talking about are that basically assumptions people make about people that don't fit those societal conventions are out or are outside of those societal scripts. Okay, so there's several situations that me and Ed are gonna get into in this video. So the first topic um, is proposing popping the question, so to speak, getting down on one knee, and the proposal being a surprise. So, you know, if you haven't been on my channel in a while, or if you're new to my channel, me and Eddie are engaged. We got engaged back in March of, the, of this year, okay? Eddie did not do any of what I just said, okay? Because neither one of us wanted to do that. He didn't propose, he didn't get down on one knee, and it wasn't a surprise. So just to explain that a little bit, because we both have gotten some pretty severe reactions when we explain that to people. Um, Tell us a little bit. Yeah, there is a video on the channel of us getting engaged. That's what we refer to it as because that's what happened. And uh, basically we met each other in college when we were both at Rutgers University. So he took me on a scavenger hunt through different spots in campus that were meaningful to us. And then at the, the last spot was where I first met him for the first time and then he just put the ring on my finger, okay? So here's my thing about it. Number one, We've known that we were the loves of each other's lives um, since before we started dating, okay? We've been together since April 17th, 2007, so a little bit over six and a half years. Just to explain a little bit, we were best friends for over a year before we started dating. But um, right before we started going out with each other, we wrote each other a really long message on MySpace back in the day, <laughs> just explaining that we love each other, we know that we're each other's, you know, soulmates, love each other's lives, that we're meant to be together, et cetera, et cetera. So, the whole surprise notion, just no, okay? And he had given me a promise ring back in April 2009 on our two-year anniversary, stating that, you know, it was a promise that we would get married, basically, um, to each other. And, you know, we've talked about honeymooning in San Juan for over five years, which is where we're going to be going next year. Um, you know, we have a combined savings account where we're basically saving up to move out and get married. We've had that for over two years. So you know what I'm saying? And then just to address real quick the whole getting down on one knee thing, okay? I consider Eddie to be my equal, okay? I'm speaking for myself personally. I don't need him symbolically like underneath me, okay? Like there's to me there's nothing romantic about that. There's nothing whatever about it. I find it Honestly, to be honest with you, a little bit bizarre. Like, I don't want him basically genuflecting before me and, like, looking up at me. Like, I just really find that unnecessary. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to get into that, like I said, because everybody assumes these things about us. And when we correct them, like I said, he, you know, we've gotten some pretty out-there reactions. Um, I know... Actually, taking a lot of flack for it. Like, it didn't make any sense. It should have just been, like, you know, that's what everybody does. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what the... What the main thing I've heard, um, not too many people have said it or that I've encountered, but um, for those who did say it, that was the overarching uh, Right, just question. like, oh, what's wrong with you? And why wouldn't you do that? And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, wow, it's not even that serious. So, and let me, hold on, let me, let me say this too, okay? Um, basically, I had some ignorant, thirsty person, okay, who I barely even know, um, send me a text message. So what happened was... We updated our status on Facebook when we got engaged. We changed it, you know, to in a relationship to engaged. So basically they sent me a text message saying, Oh, Eddie finally asked you. And it's like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? It's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody puts us into these little boxes. So it's like, if you've been dating somebody and it's been over a couple of years, then it must be because of the guy. That's why you're not engaged yet. It must be because the guy's afraid of commitment. None of that is true, Okay. Me and Eddie wanted three to six months worth of rent in our combined savings account before we got engaged. That's how we wanted to go about it. Both of us live at, live at home. We've never lived on our own before. It's just so funny to me that people make these assumptions. Do you know what I mean? Like, I understand that there's the way it usually goes in society. We can't wait to marry each other. So it's just funny to me that people would put something out there like that to me. So, otherwise, so to continue with this. Me and Annie are not living together before we get married, okay? We don't believe in cohabitation personally for ourselves. Um, you know, I've had a lot of people come to me, I don't know about Eddie, um, but just say, you know, that makes no sense. How can you not live together before you get married? How can you not live with him at least for a couple of months? 
Um, you know, they'll just be like, you don't really know somebody until you live with them. You don't know their quirks and their habits, like on and on and on. Here's the fact of the matter, okay? There's always going to be that adjustment period when you move in with somebody for the first time, okay? When you're in a relationship with them. So whether it's a year, two years, five years, whether it's before you get married, whether it's after you get married, you're going to have to adjust to each other, you know? Like the practicality stuff starts to come into it in terms of splitting up household chores, budgeting, and kind of just like somebody's quirks, people's odd habits and stuff like that. My, my thing is it's like, you can't avoid that adjustment period. So what's, I guess I'm saying like, what's the fucking difference? Like if me and Eddie were to move in six months before we got married, we still have that adjustment period to go through. It's not like if we move in before we get married, we're avoiding that. And then if we move in after we get married, we have to go through it. You have to go through it anyway. So I don't get it personally. And I'm suspicious when people have such strong reactions to me telling them what me and Eddie plan to do. Because it's almost like, you know, what's really behind it? It's almost like there's a thing behind it that, well, if you move in and it doesn't work, at least if you're not married yet, you guys can then call it off. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And we don't feel like that at all, okay? There's another video on the channel called Twin Flames where we really go into our connection. So I'll put links to the videos at the bottom, but go ahead, babe. And the one thing I kind of want to add to that as well, um, on a different kind of tone about it, is, you know, with cohabitation doing it early before um, you get married, you also kind of place yourself in a slight financial burden um, going into it because as, as she was stating before, we're um, saving up in our savings account to try to get enough so that we can have everything planned for that. Um, and based on our current situation that we're at right now, it would be harder to try to uh, go through with the standard norm and move in together because then um, it requires us to be more financially stable. Um, and I know some couples who go through that process aren't always there all the time. Mm -hmm. So it makes things a lot harder mm -hmm. and no need to add any added stress Absolutely. beforehand because then things get worse. Absolutely. So that brings us into our next topic. Um, me and Ed are celibate. Okay. So if, you know, people don't know what that means, I mean, not to get TMI on, the, on anybody and nothing like that, but it means that we're, we're waiting until we get married to have sex. Okay. Like that's what it means. Now I told you that we've been together for a little bit over six and a half years. Okay. Since April 17th, 2007. So as you can imagine, people usually assume that we're boning. I mean, I'm sorry. Like that's just what it is. Okay. And we're not. Okay. Like we, like I said, want to wait to do that until we get married, and I, I can just tell you... I mean, um, I know before I have had questions asked about, like, the engagement night or anything like that. It's just like, did you pretty much, like, put the exclamation point on it? And it's, <laughs> that's kind of, like, the best way I can uh, phrase yeah. it right now. I like I'm not, that. I'm not going to go and... I'm not going to use... I'm not the type of person to use terms like what she's mentioned before. But a lot of people found that weird as well, too. Yeah. And it's just I was just kind of like, no, you know, it's not really how we roll. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, we we're more we were more embracing, like, mm -hmm. what was going on at the time and everything else like that. And mm -hmm. that it wasn't a something that was necessary to celebrate, which I know um, society and some and ninety percent of couples do. Mm -hmm. Not all do, and that's fine. And that you know, I will say I will add to that our age, though, guys. I'm thirty two. Okay, Eddie is twenty six. He's going to be twenty seven next month. I I'm going to say from my experience, the vast majority of people our age in this day and age who've been together as long as we are, are having sex. You know what I mean? Like that's what it is. So continue. And um, I, I just kept putting off, like, there's just no reason for it, it's not really, it wasn't really like that, and I'm always kind of a person who doesn't really, like, go into any of that stuff either. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it just felt, it just wasn't really necessary to get into, it was right. kind of like, you know, hey, we're engaged, let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's worry about that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like, else. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, like, everybody, again, like, we're talking about assumptions, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because the majority of people do X doesn't mean everybody does. So, I just, like... People also make it sound like it's impossible. You know what I mean? I personally have gotten that reaction um, from a former job that I worked at. It's like, well, how could you be together this long and blase, blase? And it's like, stop. Do you know what I mean? Like, so that's that. All right. So the next thing we want to talk about is we're both child free. If you don't know what that means, it means that we don't want kids. Okay. So, I mean, here's the thing. I have like over five page blog that I typed up on my journal way back in the day for Eddie explaining why. 
It's not so much the reasons behind it. There's a lot of reasons, okay? In terms of my personality, I just don't want them.